We were there, uh, our aircraft got shot down supposedly, and then we went in there and then we, we, we stumbled upon this, uh, this crashed craft. And I don't know what it was, to be quite honest with you. And I told, you know, Dr. Greer, I didn't know what it was, to be honest. And I still don't know what it is. And uh, it's just, it's, it's just weird. It, it crashed through and uh, it had buried itself into the cliff there. And uh, I, look, I mean, I could see the rear of the, of the craft, whatever it is. And it looked like that it had been hit by a service to air missile. But anyway, I think somehow that the, the, there, there was at least two creatures that were inside of the, whatever you want to call it, the vehicle. And uh, when it, I guess the, I don't know, it could have been the damage from the cra uh, a, a crash or it was the damage from the blast fragmentation warhead, but it was leaking, right? The, 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 I, I would assume it was the cockpit mm -hmm. and it was leaking and it was coming out. I mean, it was all over the area. It got on my, you know, my fatigues. I was in it. And uh, so that's what happened there. And, but uh, I don't know what it was. And you and it changed colors. Yeah, the, the craft itself was changing colors. Uh, say like when you're out, uh, the chemical rainbow, right? Mm -hmm. Essentially, like if you're out like scrubbing your car and you have the, uh, you know, joy or whatever, you know, you know it's got yeah. the sheen where it's the, the rainbow colors and it was going back and forth. It was weird. And when you got it on you, did you feel any type of sensation or anything like burning or anything like that? Uh, I, I can't remember, to be honest with you. I did lose all my hair, and, but I... But I mean, I was so drenched with sweat, and I was so hot, and you know, yeah, the whole the whole situation, the way it was. So. Yeah. What was your fear level? To me, I think I yeah, it was pretty. Yeah, I was pretty. It was, I was, uh, yeah, maximum. You know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I, I thought there were two creatures inside of the vehicle, or what I call creatures. I don't know what they are. You, you saw some part of. Yeah, one one of the creatures was his uh, arm and hand was hanging out. He was hanging out. Did it come out? Was it hanging out when you walked up to it? Or was yeah, it like he was hanging out, probably dying. I don't know about the other pilot. I don't know what they were. But I do remember that you said you felt like you could. I know. You well, said I think you, they were trying to project their thoughts into my mind. But it, like I said, I mean, from the traumatic experience, you know, I just don't know at this point. Yeah. But when you think back on it. I try not to. <laughs> yeah, seems to me um, if this ended up being like a recovery, which most likely it was, it seems like it would be a very tricky one if this thing was, was wedged way in. This. Maybe, maybe, I mean, I don't, this is simply speculation on my part. Maybe they were not interested in the craft. Maybe they were interested in what was in it. When did the other people come into play? Were you, did you climb up on back up on the ridge? Were you going back? Yeah, to, we were and and uh, I don't know, I don't know who these fellows were, you know, this is speculation on my part, but uh, I think they were Department of Energy personnel that came, that were there, privatized. And these guys that showed up, uh, they kind of aggressively took over the entire situation. Right. And they kind of healed you pretty rough. Oh yeah. I mean, I've done research, looking at films, looking at trying to find something that would look even similar. And I'll, there's only one similar movie that I've seen. What's actually a Disney, I think it's a Disney movie. Uh, a lot of people talk about like they, all of a sudden they have premonitions or they have dreams. No, I don't have any of that. Maybe nightmares. Have you had nightmares about this? All the time. Movie? Still? Yes, sometimes. Yeah. I will after, I, I will after today. This why I don't do these interviews. Oh, yeah. It's all right. It's not your fault. It's just, uh, you know, I just. I just so I, if you're looking back on this whole thing, you probably, I'm guessing, would wish that you did not happen to be. Absolutely. If yeah. I could go back and do it all again, I, 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 yes, absolutely. Yeah. Is there anything positive at all that you've done now? Yeah, I'm still alive. Yeah. Yeah. And, and was there ever a fear of that? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's what I'm blessed with is life now, however it is, you know. Yeah. Well, yes, sir. I, well, I appreciate yeah. you. you, you uh, I appreciate you being kind to me and generous with your time and everything and letting me come. And hopefully this is, this will, I don't, I, like I said, uh, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't, hopefully this will go out, uh, over well with people. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. No. Well, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you.